Hey everyone, it's Damien Coughlin here at The Irish Marketer and I'm coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona today. Of course, another day in the 90 day challenge, another day where we can build, grow and scale your business and take things to the next level. Of course, here in the United States, it's Memorial Weekend and I want to you know, pay my respect to the men and women that you know died serving the military and um, you know, take my hat off to everyone. So whatever you're doing guys, be safe out there this weekend. And if you're watching around the world, maybe comment below where you're from, like, share and uh, comment below guys. And um, let's share the knowledge here and take things to the next level. So guys, today, um, first of all, I wanna say, you know, a shout out to Chris Record because what Chris is doing uh, here is, is quite phenomenal. You know, he's building an amazing, amazing free, um, group where you guys can learn from industry experts like Lauren Saponte, Robert Napa, uh, Peter Sorensen, many, many other people that are giving their time and effort to making sure that you can, you know, take things to the next level. So I'm here, guys, giving back to you. I'm about actually to, to get on a flight in about uh, three hours. So that's why I'm kind of dressed up a bit. <laughs> um, so anyway, without further ado, guys, I know your time is valuable. So I'm going to jump straight into it. So the purpose of this um, video today or this um, this session is print on demand you know six hundred thousand dollars in sales as a newbie in seven months so guys just to set the stage you know we're gonna talk about you know an introduction on who I am for those who don't know um, a bit about the 90-day challenge um, the future of print on demand um, I'm also going to, you know, reveal who I use personally for my print on demand, uh, and it, it's about, about 70 or 80 percent, um, my sole, you know, print on demand specialist. I'm going to go through the app. I'm going to talk about the top niches that I recommend in 2017. I'm going to go into some of the ad creatives, the ad copy that I use. Then I'm going to jump into my Facebook ads. I'm going to jump live into some of my, ad accounts and take you through some of the key metrics that you want to look at because I know a lot of people uh, find analyzing the data one of the trickiest parts of e-commerce you know and it's true because you know when you master Facebook ads you can master any traffic and traffic is the number one thing that is going to contribute to a successful business and then finally just where you guys can follow me if you want to follow my journey as you all know guys I started six months ago and I've been constantly giving back free value to everyone uh, you know, because it's I want to build my brand. I want to build the Irish marketer and uh, you know I find that this is the best way to network, right? We are stronger together than we are apart Okay, so first of all Congratulations guys everyone who has gotten this far so far in the 90 day challenge. You guys are awesome. You are action takers and uh, you know, that's one of the things that distinguishes um, you know Failure from you know people who are successful people who are successful are action takers, you know I moved here to Phoenix, Arizona to be with Chris record to be with Lawrence You know to, to understand what is it that these guys are doing that I can follow suit and you know learn from them So taking action like it is so important nowadays because the speed of everything is just phenomenal Okay, another piece of advice guys when you're in the 90-day challenge. I want you guys to be very busy. Okay, so if someone's got a question, you know, give an input um, because more than likely you're going to have a question uh, uh, come up and you want people to give the same sort of value, okay? So connect with like-minded people is the next is the next uh, piece of advice, right? So, you know, there are probably people that you're meeting in the groups that you, you know, you, you connect with at some sort of level, right? Figure out what skill set they have, right? So maybe you can transfer skills. Maybe you're good at, you know, email marketing and they're good at like, creating ad copy are they good at design okay investing in yourself guys it's so important that you know you invest in yourself because at the end of the day you are your own brand when everything else fails you're going to be left there right so you've got to really put in the time read go to seminars go to events you know connect it's so so important right you know you got to put that money back into yourself and that's one of the things I'm trying to do, right? I'm, I'm building my brand and, um, you know, I'm networking hard with Chris uh, and I'm, I'm just doing, I'm doing a lot of great things right now. Another piece of advice, guys, uh, study the data. You've got to study the data. So we've been testing over the course of 60, 70 days on the 90 day challenge. And we've got to really study the data and figure out what works best. 
Okay, another thing, guys, a lot of you are building teams right now. So I want you to listen to your team, okay? Say you have four people on the team, right? Those four people might have four different values. One person might value money. Another person might value time with their family. Another person might value work, right? They need so much, they need extra work. And another person might just want to, you know, get a paycheck, right? Or they might want to say, oh, I want to only work 15 hours a week. So building a team, guys, is very, very important, okay? So I want you guys to really study who, who are your employees and what do they value? Um, set goals for the rest of the, of, the, of the challenge, right? I want you guys to, you know, put in your goals, right? Don't just follow me or don't just follow what, what, what numbers I'm doing. You know, you are your own yardstick, right? I want you guys to say, okay, put a stake in the ground and say, you know, by the end of May, I'm going to have this amount of revenue. By the end of the week, I'm going to have this amount of revenue. And create some sort of Excel tracking file that can give you that, um, that information, right? And guys, share and celebrate your success. This is very, very important. You know, um, when you hit that $100 a day, when you hit that $1,000 a day, you know, I want you guys to really celebrate it. You know, share, share, share your, share your triumph. You know, tell people that you know I hit this. This is what I did to get there, etc. Right? And guys, for those that have not yet reached your goals, do not give up. I promise you, guys. You know, I was in your stage uh, once upon a time, six, seven months ago, and it was so frustrating. I thought it would never work out, but I kept press. I kept you know moving forward. I kept you know anything that would stop me in my track. It's I, my my track. I was relentless. Okay, guys. So um, a lot of people, you know, talk about print on demand being saturated, right? And honestly, guys, print on demand is here for is here to stay. You know, print on demand is here to stay. Um, you know, it's just more that we've got to be more creative now. Okay, so unique products. You know, the, every every week or every month now we have unique products coming in, passionate niches and amazing designs. These are three key. Things that I associate with winning products, right? With winning, winning e-commerce stores, right? The products have to be unique, right? Um, finding great suppliers that will manage the supply chain. We all, you know, have a unique skill. So if I'm good at like marketing, I don't want to be involved in the supply chain. That's why, you know, I outsource the supply chain to someone local, right? So I'm like, okay, I don't want to deal with the supply chain. Uh, focus on driving traffic and a great customer experience. There are two things that I learned uh, that I had to do, right? I knew I had to drive traffic and I had to have a great customer experience because we all know, guys, there's two key metrics in e-commerce. One, the lifetime customer value. How much is that customer worth to you when you acquire it, okay? And how much are you willing to spend to acquire that customer? And also, you know, the average order value, you know, what is this customer work to me on an average basis, right? So uh, the next thing, guys, is the future of print on the man, right? Email list, guys, and not enough people are building their email, okay? So you've got to really utilize your email. So when Facebook, like this past three weeks, Facebook has been going through a major update, major pixel update. So if you had an email list that was, you know, 20, 30,000 people or 10,000 people, you could have been, you know, supplying that email list with some product offerings while Facebook was figuring out the new update. Uh, hire great designers, guys. Uh, a designer is the lifeblood of your business, right? They are the lifeblood of your business. You've got to be willing to pay extra um, to acquire their services. And, um, you know, I can't specify how important uh, it is to have a good designer. Um, upsell products, guys. Um, print on demand. Now, a lot of people are looking at average order value. So, if you're selling a t shirt, guys, I want you to upsell them with something else, maybe a necklace, or if you're selling a hoodie, upsell them with a, a t shirt. There's some great apps out there, Boost Sales apps, and there is an app called Incart Upsell, which I use myself. The next point is continuity model, guys. So, continuity model is like a subscription based model. So say you acquire a customer and you know you want to continually sell to those person, right? You want to continue to sell to the, that individual. So what happens is you can get that person locked in in a monthly recurring um, offer. So for example, you can say, you know, I'm going to supply you with two t-shirts a month uh, for the next year. And then you can say, okay, it's going to be $49 a month. But 
the great thing about continuity is that you know you can estimate your supply and demand, right? You know how much is going to come in. You can predict that demand. So continuity is working great. And it was one of the key things that I got from Don Wilson's mastermind, which I attend, attended recently in Las Vegas. Don Wilson, of course, GearBubble.com. And he is a fantastic marketer. So he, he gave me some great tips. Guys, test different price points. So uh, a lot of people will just go with a price point of $19.99 for a shirt. So, and they haven't really tested whether or not their market is actually gonna buy it at a higher price. So I want you guys testing, see, you know, get that average order value up, you know, be willing to spend some time and say, okay, what would happen to conversion rate if I boosted the price of the shirt from $19.99 to $22.99, okay? And then we can, if, if nothing changes, if conversion rate is the same, then we can boost it up to $24.99, okay? Don't be afraid to test pricing, guys. Focus on branding with a view to sell in 12 months. So as you saw at the start, guys, my first store has generated over $600,000. So when I met Chris back in November, I said to Chris, Chris, I, wanna, I, I want this store to generate a million dollars in revenue in 12 months. Because I may want to sell that, that, that website in 12 months time. We don't know guys, but what we do know is that these assets will be worth money over time. Um, ensure you have a presence across social media. So make sure that your business is on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, etc. right? We want traffic coming in from all different angles. Okay. Um, treat your business with a hundred percent commitment and it will thrive. So if you treat your business like a part-time hobby, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get part-time revenue. So the more you put in, guys, the more you get you, you get back, okay? <sighs> Sorry, guys, I've been up uh, all night, so I'm kind of a bit tired. So guys, the next thing is build out your fan pages. So each fan page is an asset, okay? I want you really, really to understand that. Each fan page is an asset, okay? And these assets can be eventually sold over time. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm, I'm gonna possibly sell my site in a year's time. Those assets are gonna add to the overall value of the e-commerce website, okay? So when you think about e-commerce, it's not just the website, it's the fan page, it's the email list. It's, you know, potentially you have inventory. It's all, it's the customer list, it's the, you know, the branding, it's the, the Instagram account, it's the, the team. Maybe you have a team that you can transfer out, right? So guys, don't be afraid to, um, you know, maybe create some sort of mind map. Okay, what are the different components of your business and figure out how to build one individually, okay? So guys, I'm gonna move on right now and I'm gonna talk about print-on-demand supplier. So guys, there are many, many great print-on-demand suppliers out there. Thomas Bell of Viral Style. Don Wilson of Gearbubble and Custom Cat, right? These are all great, I use them all. But um, when I moved to Phoenix, Arizona, I got in touch with a supplier. And you know, he came, reached out to me, and he was like, Damien, he says, I saw your, I saw your background, you know, you're coming from Apple, heavy on branding. And uh, he was like, you know, do you want to be part of my my new my new my, my, my new print on demand company? Like, do you want to be part of the beta? And at first I was like, not sure. And then I saw some of the individuals that were testing out these products and I jumped on board. So um, back in uh, November, I was one of eight people to join the testing, okay? And this supplier had unique products, a fantastic supply chain. I met up, I met up with him a few times in Arizona. So as soon as I met him, I was like, this is a great business model. I'm gonna take this on board, I'm gonna test it. Uh, so I tested hundreds of designs and over time I started getting sales. I started identifying my buyers, hired a great designer and, uh, you know, this turned out to be a great supplier. So I'm going to go into the supplier in the next few slides and take you through some of the ideas. Okay. Um, so I hired a project manager. If you guys see some of my videos in the past, I'm big on like handing off that work that I can't deal with. So, if someone else can do a better job than me, I'm gonna hand off that work, okay? Uh, I was religious in creating those designs, cutting the losers and scaling the winners as far as far as possible I can do, right? And um, you know, the other thing is, so I'm gonna create a, a full link case study, uh, and maybe like next week or the week after, I'm gonna take a product that I've done 
and do the entire case study, okay, the design, everything. And uh, that will be available, you know, for anyone who signs up to the irishmarketer.info. Okay, guys? So I'm going to go through the app. Um, so before I jump into the app, I'm going to, you know, say this is very easy to use. It's got a wide variety of products, high tops, low tops, sneakers, boots, casual, shoulder bags, right? Th these products are really, really hot right now. And, um, you know, all this work can be outsourced to a VA, okay? Another thing, guys, is the customer service is fantastic, you know? One of the big things I see in a lot of uh, the e-commerce stores is that basically the customer services is, is just too much for people to handle. And they just get stressed out. But in reality, guys, this is something you need to hand off. Okay, our goal, as we all know, guys, is to focus on the most valuable task we can perform. Okay, so let's jump into the um, app right now. Okay, let's see. And by the way, this app, the app owner that I connected with actually sold 3 million in shoes. So when I, when I heard those stats, I was like, I want to jump on board. Uh, and he, you know, he was very good to me. Okay. So let's jump into the app right now. So um, I'm in the app. And basically, before I begin, um, let's just take a look at some of the stats, right? So... October the 16th to May the 25th, I've done $609,000 um, with this app. And these stats, I think this was May the 25th, which was like yesterday. So yesterday I did $5,000. And um, anyone who wants to get the, 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 the access to this, basically to the, to the app, just sign up here, give me access now. And you know, we can, we can, there's so much training, there's so much knowledge. You know, let's take a quick look here. So guys, you can watch the full video later. But you know, we have a range of products, bags, shoes, socks, casual shoes, boots, you know. Over 3,000 3, 3, entrepreneurs use Pillar Profits today, guys. So again, guys, if you want the app and you want to, um, you want to get, you know, some of the information that I'm gonna be giving out on my email list, just join here at the irishmarketer.info. Okay, let's get back to business, guys, and let's give you some more value. So let's talk about niches right now. So the best way to really learn about a niche, guys, is to live inside it. And that is so true. You know, um, a lot of times today people, you know, don't know enough about the niche, okay? So I recommend going Google, going on Pinterest, you know, finding, you know, places where, where these customers hang out, okay? So forums, clubs, associations, celebrities, etc. Okay, and my top 10 uh, favorite niches in 2017, guys, and I've tested a lot of niches. Nurses, fishing, coffee, beer, golf, yoga, cycling, veterinarian, camping, and the cat niche, okay? And as you all guys, as you guys know, I, I, I actually run a general store. One of my stores is a general store, uh, and the reason why I love general stores, I can test as many products as possible, okay? So here, these are ideas that you guys can, you know, experiment with yourself. You know, the nurse is so hot right now. Uh, fishing, again, coming into summertime, guys. Yoga, cycling, these are all fantastic uh, niches. Okay. So let's jump into ad copy right now. And let's try and move this over here, possibly. Okay. So guys, ad copy, very, very important. Uh, you have to test which ad copy works best for you, okay? So um, my ad copy works as follows, right? Ask a question, follow up with something to grasp attention, drop in the URL, encourage people to like and share, add an image, right? Image, right? Something, a unique image, not something that's like a stock image. I want you guys to be creative. And then uh, real life work better than basic mock-up. That's so true. Like a real life, maybe like someone sent in you a picture of the actual design, 
that is what works best guys you know so let's just have a take a look guys how easy the app is okay so let's go into the app and let's add a product and let's just say we're going to do shoulder bags okay and we're going to call this parrot shoulder bag all right and then we're going to come in here and we're going to take the image we're just going to drag it here all right you can see here right that beautiful looking design and then we're going to go review and publish and then we're going to say grab your parent shoulder bag today all right and then we're just going to give it a price and then we're you know you can you can update the description but for now i'm just going to show you guys so publish and then we're going to go click to view the product in shopify so now it's going to take us to the um store right how, how it's going to look inside in your shopify admin and then we can go here we can go view right this is how it's going to look on your website so there you have it guys so so quick it's so easy uh let's try maybe one more um let's go back to uh let's see here back to the app and we're gonna try some let's try some um uh, see there's all different types backpacks women's men's etc etc right let's try some high tops let's try some black ones and again we take the um we take the two designs and we just go let's see it's going to be parent top now we can just go you can actually you can you can add multiple different combinations which is fantastic but for now let's just do one product so we're going to review and publish again and we're going to come in here and we're going to say grab your parish items okay just as an example and i forgot to put in the price but click to view the product in shopify you know we can update the we can update the um product here too so it's going to be 69 or right, let's do 59 save all changes close that out i'm going to go here and view so there you have it guys very very clean and um you know the good thing about um pillow profits as well is that they give you all the mock-ups so um, they're going to give you all the mock-ups. So let's see here. So they have a fantastic team. Um, they give you all the videos, all the mock-ups, et cetera, et cetera, right? And I think uh, it's not in there. Okay, basically, I don't want to go in today because um, I want to keep you guys focused. So let's go back to the agenda. But basically, guys, super, super easy to use. And um, I recommend you guys check it out. So again, guys, the irishmarketer.info is where you can go for that. So getting back to the presentation, let's talk about ad copy, okay? So a lot of people ask me for my recommendation on ad copy. So right now, guys, what's working for me is a 1200 by 1200 static image, right, of the picture, right? Really good quality. Uh, also, 1200 by 1650. 1200 by 1650 is just that longer copy, right? It looks, it looks longer on your Facebook feed, and that works as well. But the objective that gets me the best, best engagement and the cheapest clicks is the website conversion video slideshow so this is a sequence of 10 static images that you can actually 
you know, put together and it looks like a video. You can add background music. And I generally keep those videos for 10 seconds or less. And this gets very, very cheap clicks. And the whole purpose of ad copy, guys, is that, you know, it's attention, interest, decision, action, right? So first of all, grab the attention, you know, are you a cat lover, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm going to show you an example now in the next slide. Okay. So here's an example of some of the shoes that we did um, on Pillow Profits. Okay. So see the way my first question is I'm engaging straight away, right? Love Spain. It's like love Spain. Like It's like love USA, love Ireland. Comment below which part you are from. Now, the reason why I said comment below which part you are from is because I want engagement to start on the ad. I want the social proof to start on the ad. I want to tell Facebook that yes, this is an ad that not only is the relevant score high, but that people like the ad, right? This is something that Facebook should, should show more to, to their community. So people are gonna start typing below, you know, from Barcelona, from Madrid, et cetera, et cetera. Now this is gonna build the social proof of the ad. Then my, my next call, it's a call to action, right? Order, and then I have a little uh, emoji, and then it's showing the URL of the product. Okay, so it's very, you can see there's a space between the, the top um, call to, uh, the top engagement and the actual call to action. And then the following, which is, you know, I'm promoting people to share this because the more likes and shares, the more um, possibility that I'm gonna get organic reach. And that's very important, guys, okay? So again, very, very simple ad creative. And these ad creatives, actually, they're available on the Pillow Profits app. And you know, also, uh, when you go through my link, guys, and I'm not, I'm not getting anything for this, you know, for this promotion. I'm just showing you guys what worked for me. You know, I can send you guys, you know, copies of, you know, what, what are the best uh, creatives, what are the best niches, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Now, guys, the next thing I'm going to go through, right, is I'm going to go through Facebook ads. So now, guys, we have the app. We have the ad creative. Now we want to like figure out how do we run these ads? How do we analyze the data? What are the key metrics we should be looking at? Okay. And the Facebook ads metrics that I use are number one, frequency, number two, reach, CPM, CPC, CTR, add to cart, purchase, cost per purchase, purchase conversion value, total conversion value, results, impressions, amount spent today, and total amount spent. Now, frequency guys, uh, and these are columns that you should set up in your Facebook ads, right? And I'm gonna go through these columns in a second where I'm gonna jump in live to one of my Facebook ads accounts, and I can do them right now. But basically, frequency is the, the, average, the average number of times that your particular ad has been shown to the same person, okay? So the higher the frequency, the more expensive it's going to cost you, right? Because say you have an audience of 100,000 people and, you know, you've spent like, you know, already like $100 or $200, that same person has seen your ad and that's, and that's not good, right? So let's just dive straight into Facebook ads right now because I know that a lot of people were like wondering, you know, what metrics should I look at? How do I, how do I, how do I cut off an ad? How do I know to scale an ad? So let's come in here, right? So I'm in here in one of my ad accounts and basically, let's see, can we get a better view? All right, so let's move this over here. So guys, right now we're in the ad set, right? Remember campaign, ad set, sorry, campaign, ad set and ad there are three different levels so we're in the ad set level now where all the optimization happens okay so let's go from left to right um let's just fill sort by cost per purchase sorry okay so guys the frequency the average number of times each person saw your ad okay i mentioned that earlier okay the reach you know, the number of people who saw your ads at least, at least once. The CPM, the cost per thousand impressions, okay? How much is it costing you to reach a thousand people? 
And I want the CPM to be under $10, okay? I want it to be under $10. That is my, that is my key metric, right? The number of link clicks, how many people actually clicked on the link that took them to your destination, right? Okay. Cost per click link, very, very important here. The, 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 cheaper, the, the cheaper the cost per click, the more people we're going to get to our website, right? So the cheaper, the higher, the higher it's going to cost us, the less people are going to go, obviously, right? So I typically look at 50 cent or less. I want 50 cent or less cost per click. The click through rate, the click through rate on the link click. So there's two types of click through. There's the regular click through and then the click through on the, on the actual link. Website convert. So this is the add to cart. How many people have added the product to your cart but not purchased? Uh, this is the number of purchases. Uh, this is the purchase conversion value. So how much did each purchase give me in a revenue dollar? Okay. Now this does not, this does not include the actual shipping. So you just got to take that in, into consideration when estimating your cost per purchase. There is a piece of code that I can, guys can send you uh, through my email. No problem. Um, the next is obviously the purchases and then I have another here for cost per purchase. Now the cost per purchase is the average cost of each purchase. Okay. So if I spend, if I make, if I, if I make, um, a hundred dollars in revenue and I spent, you know, $10 on that. Um, sorry, the metric is kind of as a total amount divided by the purchase. Okay. So, so $10 divided by a hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. So you can see here, right? So let's, let's look down some of the cost per purchase, right? Now I have a lot of ads running right now. I'm testing. I'm always testing guys. I'm always testing. Okay. So you can see here, right? You can see these are all test ads because basically this is the amount I've spent today and this is the total amount I've spent. Okay. So basically guys, we stopped here at the cost per purchase, the average cost of each purchase, right? So you can see here, guys, I made two purchases. I made two purchases. I spent $18. And I generated $280, right? That's the cost per purchase. So it was $6 cost per purchase. Okay. And you can see here, my budget is $20, $25 daily. Okay. Uh, you can see here, I made four purchases. I spent $43 in total and I actually got $445 in revenue. So one of the metrics I use guys is called ROAS. ROAS is return on ad spend. So I'm always looking at the amount I've spent against the actual website purchase conversion value. That's important. So the amount spent, what did, what did I spend to generate the revenue? So you can see here another one, um, you know, spent 19, made 159, spent 37, made 283. These are all profitable ads because the, the products I'm selling, um, I can afford to spend more money on them because my margins are higher, right? I sell it at a higher price. So that's why you'll see a lot of these cost per purchases are higher because I know my, I know my magic metric. The magic metric is how much you're willing to spend, um, on a purchase conversion, right? That's very important. You got to know your metric. You got to know your data. So you can see here, guys. So for the past, seven days i spent four thousand seven hundred and twelve dollars in total and i generated sixteen thousand dollars so that's um a roas of over three okay so spend one dollar to get three dollars okay in, in revenue so i spent i spent four thousand seven hundred to get 16 so you got to know your metrics you got to know how much i got to spend on ads or how much i got to spend on cost of goods sold etc etc so here's guy, this is how I would set it up. I would put frequency, reach, CPM, link clicks, cost per click link, CTR, website, add to carts, website purchases, purchase conversion value, and budget. How, so you know then, right? Okay. These are all, these are, these are ads that I've scaled, right? But as you know, right, guys, I start everything at $5. I start all my ads at $5. So this is one that I have not yet scaled. Um, five dollars but the rest i have started to scale and i've duplicated them out so a lot of my ads 
I have our, my ad sets, I've duplicated them, right? So I'm all, I'm all about, you know, you know, I'm hoping that if I launch 100 ad sets, 20 of them are gonna be good, and then I'm gonna cut the rest, okay? So you can see here, so um, the amount spent today, I've spent 657 so far today. Uh, so that's a basic look around my ads. And again, guys, you know, you've gotta be willing to look into the data. So if I take, for example, if I go and take, um, let's maybe look into one of these products. Okay, I'll cancel that. Um, let's look at. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I can show you right now, guys. But, but I hope this is a value, right? Let's see, purchase. You know, you can look at the data. So you can look at the data by age, by age and gender region. So if you take like by by age and gender, you can see the mo what exactly who's buying what, right? And you know, let's get rid of this. So for this ad, where I've got like, let's see. So you can see right the 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 cost per click, the cost per click is different for each for each age group. And I, I, I'm not showing you the age groups because you can see all my products. But basically, you know, see how different the cost per click link is for each age group so nine cents here right nine cent 27 cent here 71 28 11 etc etc that's why you guys you got to figure out who exactly is your buying customer because you're going to get cheaper clicks on different age groups and different demographics you know another another metric i look at is um country all right so when you look at country it's going to tell you you know you know cpm like here this is a high cpm here right this is the united states my CPM is high, right? Because I'm probably competing against a lot of people uh, for this country, right? This country's, um, but then you look at something like uh, Russia. Russia is 125, you know? So that's why I encourage people, when you master USA, I want you guys to start going out and figuring out worldwide, right? Because there's a huge market, you know? Uh, in, today's, in today's day and age, more and more people are becoming confident with buying online, you know? You just look at all the retail stores that are shutting down right now. E-commerce is definitely taking over. So we're 37 minutes through. Um, so again, guys, become a master in Facebook ads and uh, you know, set up your columns, right? You can set up, you can customize your columns here. So come in here to customize columns and then you can just decide which, which columns you want. And then you can drag them over here to the right hand side. And uh, hugely powerful, guys, hugely powerful, okay? So let's go back to the presentation. And let's see where we are right now. So here are all the metrics you guys can take. You can take them down and make sure that, um, make sure that, you know, they're in your, they're in your, your columns and you're looking at it correctly, okay? Um, so what else? Okay, so here are some of the things I've already said. Small budgets. So guys, as you all know, I'm a big believer on $5 ad sets, right? $5 because I want to um, test as many products as possible in the hope of finding one big winner, okay? So small budgets. Start off $5 budgets and then, you know, slowly and surely, you know, bump that. Maybe you can either... Well, personally, I don't like to bump up the, the, the actual the value too much, I like to duplicate. Because if I have a wide audience, I, I like to duplicate. But you guys, if you are, if you want to raise the price, you know, from $5 to 10 to 20, etc., I recommend to, you know, increase your budget 20% every 48 hours, you know, or, or something like that. The, the, the higher you're gonna bump your budget, the, the, the more difficult it is for Facebook to adjust and to, you know, you know, get back in sync with the algorithm, okay? Because after all, guys, Facebook it work. It's an algorithm, right? So the more, the more, the more, uh, the more, the more budget you give them, the more likely they're, they're gonna spend it. Okay. Um, so you've got to give it time. You've got to be patient with Facebook. Okay. So try not touch a winning ad set. That's one of the things that has helped me in the past. I remember what back in November when I started off, I was doing really well, and then I started to change all the the ad sets. I was like messing with the with the with the interest groups i was messing with the conversion window i was messing with everything and it just messed up the whole thing 
So guys, skill levels up, fear levels down. So when you become confident in Facebook, you can do anything, right? But you gotta learn the Facebook fundamentals. Uh, there are so many different trainings available, guys, so don't be afraid to go back in the 90-day challenge and to look at the trainings and to get that piece of knowledge that is gonna take your, your skill levels to another level. Um, I also look for CPM. So CPM is the cost per thousand. So I look for anything under $10. So anything over $10, I'm shutting off. Um, because the CPM is basically how much is it costing me to show, uh, how much is it costing me to show um, to, a thou um, to a thousand people, right? CPM, yeah, cost per thousand. Uh, the link click, uh, the cost per click, link click, I want it to be about 50 cents, okay? So if we go back to my ads, I think, um, let's see, none. And let's see my cost per click link. So you can see it's averaging at 24, which is fantastic. Those link clicks are crazy, right? That's how much. I, that's how I get so much traffic to my website. Look, seven cent, seven, seven cent click, eight, nine, ten, right? Um, 12, 12, 13, right? These are all super low uh, clicks. And it's very important, guys. Very, very important. Um, and again, guys, video has cheaper clicks. Uh, if you're getting, guys, if a lot of people are getting a lot of add to cart but no purchase, then I would test your shipping, right? Your shipping could be um, basically uh, people may not be, may, may not be in agreement with your shipping. Maybe your shipping is too, too high. Maybe you, if you reduce it down, uh, you might get more purchases or else they're not confident, you know, with some part of the sales funnel. There's something not right, okay? So guys, lookalike audiences are very important. So you can base it off the content, the content name. So you you could have like so each product has a has an ID. So you can base the base the lookalike off the ID, or else you can base it off the you know URL contains um, you know um, cycling or URL contains biking, and then that's gonna take people you know that that views your product and it's gonna build a lookalike. So you can build it off. Uh, view content, add to cart, or purchase. Uh, and again, guys, if you're starting off and you're, if you're a newbie, I recommend you guys focus on the USA market first. And when you master the USA market, then you can say, okay, what other countries are going to buy from me? Uh, ROAS, return on ad spend. Again, guys, I spoke earlier. Uh, if I spend a dollar on ad spend, I want to get $3 in return in revenue. Okay. Again, guys, these are my metrics. Each niche is, you know, their own, their own uh, analysis, right? You may have a different niche to me, etc. Um, more tips on Facebook, guys. Uh, keep your relevancy score high. So the relevance score basically is how relatable is the product offering to the customer. So you talk, you hear Chris talk a lot about the product to the customer match, okay? So I want you guys really to focus on the relevancy score. Mine is usually about nine, nine or ten. Okay, uh, if you're entering a new niche, guys, so say you want to sell in the fishing niche, I recommend you guys to do flex targeting. So since the fishing niche is so broad and it's a huge market, um, when you do flex targeting, basically it's going to condense your audience into a really, really laser focused audience, right? So, you know, the way I would do it would be I would say, okay, Facebook, show me everyone who likes fishing and who likes, you know, the fishing magazines, uh, you know, that are hot today. So fishing and anyone who likes each one of these magazines and anyone who likes, you know, the fishing brand. Okay. That way then that's going to bring your audience from like 20 million down to like 800,000, 700,000. Then you have a really, really laser targeted, um, interest group, right? Uh, and again, guys, flex targeted. I speak about it a lot and anything I speak about guys is I, pr I practice it, right? Um, frequency gets higher when you have smaller audience size yes so as you build out your ad sets and you build out your your ads you you're going to reach people okay and the more people you reach the more likely you're going to run out of audience okay so what happens then is the frequency score is going to go higher so what i usually do is i remove a level of flex or i just duplicate the ad set and you know get a bigger audience size okay get yourself a facebook rep guys you know it's very important have a backup account so in business manager so everybody should have a business manager i recommend you guys to get extra ad accounts because you never know when you're going to get shut down 
uh, touch wood I haven't been shut down yet but uh, you guys can create additional ad accounts so don't be afraid to do that excuse me uh, you can share your pixel now guys so you can share your pixel from your main ad account to your backup ad account and that way then if your main ad account gets shut down you're not going to lose all that pixel data so be very important you got to share that pixel to your new ad account um, treat facebook like part of your business this is so crucial guys everyone thinks about you know shopify shopify is just one part of your business Facebook is the other part and it's just a, it's a huge uh, asset to you guys so you've got to build those relationships you've got to invest in Facebook ads you've got to you know be willing to spend that money right if you're spending so much on Shopify apps there's no reason and 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 uh, basically Shopify apps and credit card transaction fees there's no reason why you shouldn't be investing into Facebook ads and as I said earlier guys know your magic metric the magic metric is how much am I willing to spend to acquire a customer, right? Or how much am I willing to spend to get a purchase conversion, right? Finally, guys, um, if you want to follow me, I'm very active. I do a lot, a lot of free value. Again, guys, I'm new to becoming an entrepreneur, but I'm very passionate and I'm very ambitious to, you know, getting out there in the marketplace and becoming a brand you know that's why I'm building this Irish marketer and I'm connecting with people like Chris Peter Sorensen Robert Lawrence and uh, you can follow me on Facebook snapchat so a lot of you guys see me I'm crazy on snapchat every day I'm sharing knowledge I'm sharing advice Instagram I travel a lot guys because I believe in networking I was in Vegas recently with Don Wilson so I believe that you got to get out there from your desk so not every day is going to be at the office, you know, say pick a day in the week where you're actually going out and you're, you're connecting with like-minded individuals. My website, guys, DamienCockman.com, the Irish marketer will be start, I'm going to start building that website out soon. And again, guys, if you want to get the app, it's www.theirishmarketer.info, okay? And that is basically it guys and also if you're not in the 90 day challenge, you should be because it's a fantastic group. Uh, every day it's growing and that's thanks to the people who are contributing to the group not just myself and the rest of the crew but the entrepreneurs and anyone else who has been given advice um, so we're 47 minutes in uh, as I said earlier guys this was a kind of a spur of the moment video so I apologize if it wasn't as professional as it should have been but again uh, we're just trying to give value each day to you guys and uh, hopefully you guys can take action uh, As I mentioned earlier, there are many print-on-demand apps out there And this is just one of the ones that I use that has really really allowed me to scale my business very very quickly and um, You know going back over and just to summarize guys um, Keep at it keep focused uh, I was once in your position and uh, it was tough at times and uh, every day was like, you know, I felt like I was getting no progress and eventually things started happening very, very quickly, you know. So, again, guys, I hope this is of value to you. Um, this is Damien Cockton, the Irish marketer. I wish everyone the very best of success for the rest of May. And uh, have a great weekend, guys. And I will talk to you again on the next one. Over and out, Damien Cockton, the Irish marketer.